اعوذ بالله من الشیطان الرجیم بسم الله الرحمن الرحیم رب الشهر لي صدري ويسر لي امري واحلل عقده من لساني يفقهوا قولي السلام علیکم ایوری ون hope all of you are having an amazing day right now and smiling as you know smiling is a sunnah of our beloved prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam so today's video is about one thing which is so important that we muslims disregard on a daily basis and Allah will not look at you if you do this that's how serious it is so what is it as well I'll just start off by saying that as I said that this is something that we Muslims disregard on a daily basis because we think it's not a big deal what is it trousers keeping your trousers up above the ankle now ask yourself everyone who's watching this video ask yourself that do you keep keep it above the ankles every day whatever you wear or it's below your ankle now how do we know this how how come i'm saying that allah will not look at you well for that we have to look at the hadith of prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam so it's a it's a hadith in sahih bukhari it's a sahih hadith in which allah's messenger sallallahu alaihi wasallam says any part of izar which falls below the ankle is in the fire so if you're wearing if your trousers are below the ankle that part which is below the ankle that's in fire so your feet would be in fire that's what it means now there are three to four more hadiths in sahih bukhari uh, which says it is narrated that prophet muhammad peace be upon him said allah will not look at you if you drag your garment out of conceit now most of you guys would say which some scholars also say that oh you know as long as you're not doing it out of pride out of conceit out of arrogance it's fine you can keep it down but but it's not like that as i mentioned the first of these was what that any part of izar that falls below the ankle that part is in the fire so we already know from that that these that you're supposed to keep it up so the second of these yes the people of that time used to drag their garment behind them and it used to be below the ankle out of pride out of arrogance you know it used to show some status and right now you might say that oh i'm not doing it out of pride it's just down you know it's just down i'm not doing it out of pride or arrogance or to show off okay so to that i say because this is something that scholars argue on it as well but i say that if prophet muhammad peace be upon him said it and it displeases allah then i'm not going to do it see i'm not going to we may know the reason why it is we may not as long as i am pleasing allah and his messenger sallallahu alaihi wasallam i'm going to do it doesn't matter if the scholars might argue or not because i know from the hadith that we are supposed to keep it up and let me ask you this abdullah ibn umar may peace be upon him the sahaba are we better than him can we be better than, can any of the muslims be better than him no they're on the, another level even prophet muhammad peace be upon him told him to pull up his trousers because once his trousers were down prophet peace be upon him said what pull up the trousers now was he doing it out of pride or arrogance obviously not and it's a sahih muslim hadith so we have to understand that it's not just about pride and arrogance yes it is if you're doing it out of pride and or, uh, uh, sorry arrogance that's even worse that's the that's the worst thing you can do but if you're going to argue that oh i'm not going to do it because i'm not doing it out of pride or arrogance that's wrong see we muslims at least we keep our trousers up when we are praying when we are offering our salah we pull up the trousers even though there is no relevance to pulling up the trousers during the salah do you know that there is no relevance it doesn't say that you have to do it in order to offer your salah but where it is said that normally in your daily life pull up your trousers we don't follow that but in salah we do at least alhamdulillah we do it in salah but we need to do it in the rest of our day as well we have to apply that onto ourselves i have to do that as well you have to every muslim has to do that okay you know now if you're going to think about and then think that oh you know i am i might not look good i might look funny or you know it's going to look weird you know i don't want to do that people will make fun of me or they'll be like oh, what are you doing 
But wallahi, if that's your mindset, you're thinking that, oh, how will I look? And that you prefer that that what people would say and how you would look over what Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam has said and over that Allah might not look at you, then we need to reevaluate everything that we're doing in our daily life. Wallahi, seriously, how can we prefer this world over what Allah has said and his messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam? We cannot. We have to follow him. We have to follow him. And may Allah, may Allah grant us an understanding and may Allah give us a strength and iman to follow him and his messenger, peace be upon him. But seriously, doesn't matter. It doesn't matter if you look like funny, if you look funny or if you look like a joker or if it doesn't suit you or it's against the fashion or the trend or the culture or whatever. Or it doesn't matter if every person around you is making fun of you. You're doing it for the sake of Allah, for the sake of his messenger, peace be upon him. Isn't that enough? That should be more than enough. That should be everything that you should care about. Everything that you should care about. That I'm going to do it for the sake of Allah. I don't want Allah not to look at me on the day of judgment. And you might argue with me again. That no, some scholar says that it's not out of pride. You might bring that point up again. So I'm going to say this to you. Listen. Okay. We all know that we're supposed to keep it up, right? You might say that, oh, that this statement that Allah will not look at you, that's debatable. Okay. 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 Okay, that's debatable. I can be right, I can be wrong as well. Okay, okay. But when we go on the day of judgment and we come to know that this was right, if we come to know, if it's right, that Allah will not look at us, can you come back to the world and undo this? No right. So what's the harm? What is it costing us to keep our trousers up? Just our trousers up. It's not that even a big deal that we make it such a big deal, but it's not. Do we need to find out later on and regret it that we didn't do it because we won't be able to undo it. So isn't it better that we do it and we are satisfied that, oh, okay, I'm safe. Alhamdulillah, I'm doing it for the sake of Allah so that Allah is pleased. Allah will reward you so much you have no idea. So much. So isn't it better to be safe than sorry? So brothers and sisters, even though, even though it's a hadith that Allah says that, he will not look at you. Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him said that Allah will not look at you. But the word of pride comes in. But as I said that Abdullah ibn Umar anha, are we better than him? No. Was he doing it out of pride? No. But Prophet peace be upon him said that pull your trousers up. So from that my understanding is, my understanding is that, and it might differ from yours, but my understanding is that we are supposed to keep it up regardless of whether we do it out of pride or whether we do it without pride. We are supposed to keep it up and and Allah knows best. So that's it for the video. I just want to tell you that this is a small thing that we Muslims, we disregard it on a daily basis, but it is, it matters a lot. These small things matter a lot because these small things pile up. So we need to understand that and may Allah grant us an understanding and may Allah forgive us and grant Jannah to all of us. Amen. And that's it for the video. I hope you guys liked it and found it beneficial. If you did, make sure to hit the like button. And please don't forget to subscribe. I really, really appreciate all of the support that you guys have been giving me. Thank you so much. And yeah, take care of yourself. Be humble, be good, do good. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.